Hey guys, Tony here, CCXRC. We're out at the trails with the SCX10. Uh, we're gonna give it a little test because I've got the Howler Customs uh, battery mount and electronics tray mounted. Uh, for the longest time, I left the battery in the back. Uh, should have gotten it forward, didn't. Then I finally moved it to the front using uh, only parts that came in the kit. You can mount your battery in the front with spacers. Uh, all you need to do is get some longer screws. Three by 30 millimeter works. Uh, it's just three of them. Now I've got it exactly where I wanted. The Howler Customs had these available again through Harley Designs. And so that's in place. And we're going to take it out. We're going to see what it's like and uh, what kind of difference we see in the performance. So let's go do it. All right, so the best way to test this is really to do some inclines, because that's where I was running into a lot of issues with it wanting to tip backwards. And a fairly steep incline, see if we can uh, overtake it here. No problem. Everything just feels really planted. Let's try another spot here, same kind of section. All that weight on the front, yeah, that is so much better. So let me look here. See, if I'm like this and my battery is in the back, that front end, right about, right about here, I'm wanting to tip backwards. This is, that weight shifts right after I get over that peak, and it just gets those wheels, front wheels on the ground. That's good. So far, I really haven't done those sections that I just did. So it's not really a comparable test, but we'll get up to some of the trails that I normally run and see what we got going on. All right, so this hill here is pretty steep. Uh, it's got a lot of leaves on it. It's something that I've had a hard time tackling in the past with the battery in the back. You hit some of these roots here, and then being on the incline, uh, that, that weight on the back just put all the uh, turning power on the back wheels and it would just want to flip over because I wasn't connecting in the front. And so this will be a comparison to see how it does with this Howler Customs battery mount. Now this is typical. Most of the time I'm just coming around. But the difference is I haven't flipped over backwards yet, like normal. There we go. No problem. Let's come back and do that again. Let's see if we can get it a little easier. Oh! Front weighting issue. <laughs> a little bit different weighting there. So in that instance, not a normal instance, but uh, didn't turn out so well. So here we go, one more time. Up the incline, keeping those tires moving. And way easier. All right, so this last spot is always challenging and it keeps eroding more and more. So it's gonna be even more difficult. So we'll see what kind of uh, work that this new battery tray can help by keeping the, the front wheels connected to the ground here. I'll show you the incline here. Once you get up in there, you're pretty steep, so. All right, let's give it a real go here. <laughs> that almost went for a big tumble there, guys. All right, let's try it again. These roots are uh, exposed quite a bit now, so that's even harder. Oh, see that? No problem. I don't know if I even got that on camera, so we'll probably have to try it again. <laughs> no luck. All right, we're cheating a lot here. Using the, the feet and the hands. All right, I'll try and focus on the filming a little bit more. I'll back up so you can see it. Keep it on here. 
All right, we're ready. Let's tackle this thing. Oh, we are straight up and down. I'd have been a goner for sure before. Back out of it. Oh, and there it goes. Like a champ. Let's see what we got with the waiting here. Get her leaning really good. Oh, you got it. <laughs> That's my problem with hard bodies is always pushing the limits. Want to see if the trucks can do this kind of stuff, which you wouldn't try if this were real life, but since it's a toy, you might as well. Oh, he's leaning hard. Let's see here. Can we do this? Deep drop off on the side. That wheel is completely buckling. Can you see that? Oh no. Ah. It buckled before I could show you. Let's try one more time. I don't think this is doable, but gotta at least try it three times. Then if the damage is too bad, you walk away. I mean, look at it just sliding already. It's just wanting to come down that hill. These tires are completely folding over. Completely. It's crushing it. We're just kind of rocking that rim. All of the weight is just on that. But it seems like it's so close. Keep pushing a little. Slow. Oh, oh so oh, close. All right, that means we gotta try it again, but let's do it a different way. Let's go up the steep way here. And climb it up. So we're testing anyways that battery tray and the weight displacement. That ridge is gonna be a tough one to tackle there, guys. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. But I need to make that turn as well. Oh. Killing him, that poor dog. All right, here we go. Nope. Bad approach, bad approach. Not a professional here, guys. Oh. What kind of warranty do we got on this guy? Keep it on that ridge. Work it over a little bit. Let's try and work this. Get that wheel up. Lock. Oh, just a cradle there. And that's it. That's it. Hey! Oh boy. Now we got to make this tight corner. Oh, we did it. Look at that. King of the Mountain, Mr. Jeep Rubicon. Way to go, Axial. But even more way to go, Howler Customs, man. As I say that, I crashed the truck. No, but seriously, guys, this battery tray and the weight placement is just phenomenal. The way that it's able to tackle some of these really gnarly hills. I mean, I'm sitting right up and down there. I'd have, I'd have flipped over before. But here, I might just gun it and try and go for it because I like the placement, the weight of that battery. Getting hung up on stuff. At least, you know, it puts me in the game a little bit having that change. Now, granted, there comes a point where you're going to flip over no matter what. And that's probably the straight sheer cliff here that we're trying to make it hop over. And not to mention the hill we're coming back down onto, being at a different angle completely. Yeah, see, that, 
that hill coming down as well is really kind of what's hurting it and making it flip. I could probably sit it right back down if, if we weren't on a dual hill here. And I could cheat, probably and come up here and get up. It's all so muddy. Slippery, getting kicked into those oh, tires. That was a hard one. There it went. See if we can come down this now. You know me. We're always we're a little bit rough on our, our toys here, CCXRC. But boy do we have a lot of fun. Nice. Alright, let's try this. We've been doing everything going uphill, but this is something that I used to like to do downhill. And actually the battery in the back kind of helped out because when you start rolling this out, it'd keep you from flipping over forward. Ah, no problem. Okay guys, so I really love this Howler Customs RC. It's their battery and electronics tray. Totally changes the game when you're using this uh, Rubicon SCX-10 here by Axial. The, the weight placement with the battery mid and then kind of lowered between the two wheels instead of only in the front is awesome. You get traction to both sets, front and rear tires. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's a game changer in going up steep hills and climbs. So really digging it. Give it a big, big thumbs up, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on CCXRC.